What up? It's your boy, Mr. Man Giorno, aka Adrian from Rabona TV, here with another episode of our FIFA 18 career mode with Inter Milan. And I picked up some tips for you guys on how to be the best manager because, I mean, look at me sitting in fifth, eighth, whatever, who knows these days. And I know you're thinking, damn, how does he do it? Well, step number one always stay hydrated. Step number two, always chew a piece of gum, just like Sir Alex Ferguson did. He's peeling that very carefully. Let's go. Right, he's going to put it in the bin, clearly. Oh! And step number three, always listen to what your backroom staff has to say, and that's exactly what I did when Brandon De Luna told me to play 4-3-2-1 with Stark as my CDM. With Valero, Ambrozovic, Icardi as a striker. I made him the target man. All you Nussi and Paris that's just tucked in behind him. This could be good. Step number three, part two. Ya yeah boy, Brian Yim. Bless him. Said, hey, Casper Dolberg's not doing it for you. I could play Pinamonti, but that seems like a waste of my time. He's 62 rated. I don't want to play that. What's the point? So, recall Gabriel. Barbosa, Gabby Gol from Benfica. I mean, we can give it a shot also while I was in there. Checking out all the dudes I've got on loan. Jason Murillo on loan at Valencia. 79 overall. Not a bad center back. And of course, we have Jeffrey Condogbia, which I thought of calling back, but I have a lot of central midfielders, so we'll leave him for now. If we get a bunch of injuries or something later on in the season, then maybe we'll bring him in. But Gabriel, 76 overall. Form, okay. Morale, okay. On loan at SL Benfica. <laughs> Bunch of losers. It's gonna cost me 432,000 euros. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I am dying for a striker that can score goals. Icardi has been better. Casper Dolberg has been trash. So let's see if Gabigol is the answer to our prayers. Somehow I doubt it. Worth a shot. And why don't we throw him into our squad for the next game against Atalanta. He could also play on the right wing, which is actually quite helpful because Caramo is not very good. And Kandreva is good. He's good. But he's a little bit slow. So he's in the squad. I'm not going to start him, but he's in there. We're going to go with the exact team that Brandon De Luna requested. Because we're a democracy here at this club. Our black and blue rivals, who is the ultimate black and blue team? We'll find out soon. Why does it take so long to show the lineups? Ugh, could have been halfway through the half by now. Oh yeah, Atalanta bought some, uh, some real players. They got three at the back, okay. See you on the outside. Nice ball, nice ball, nice ball, Icardi goal! Goal, the target man. Instant effect. I'm liking this 4-3-2-1, boy. Mind you, I've scored early in games before and not won them. So, everybody calm down, all right? We don't need to see replays. We don't need to see celebrations. None of that. We want to focus only on getting goals and defending really well, like we did last game, except for that game against Torino. Have a hit, Dalbert. <laughs> not like that, though. Oh! Back to Brozovic. Back to Broda. To Stark, to Icardi, shoots! No, what a terrible touch! Terrible touch! Killed that attack! And shoot! Oh, <laughs> Stark, that was awful. Swinging a wooden leg at the ball, basically. Alright, I like it. I feel like I'm really controlling this game. I could be better around the box, that's for sure, but I mean, that's been the story all season long. But hey, at least Icardi scored. I'm liking the attack, lots of options in the attack. I got Stark sitting back. So I feel secure in defense. Oh, what a finish by Icardi. I mean, yeah, that's good. They've had one shot, zero on target. I've got the edge in possession. I'm happy, man. I'm gonna keep it as it is out there. Go Elianusi. And the hit. Oh, that's a red. That's a red. He was the last man. It's gotta be. If that's not a, a yellow. Wow. This ref is a pussy this ref is a pussy but there's no guarantee i'm gonna score from a penalty because y'all know i suck at penalties Alrighty, cardi do what you do get a brace hell yeah 
2 nil. 48 minutes in. Icardi with the brace. He's starting to pick it up now. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Not liking that celebration, though. I want to conserve some energy here. Conserve my players a little bit. Let's take El Yunusi off and put Gabriel in there. Yes, is that Stark? Oh. You gotta love that kid. He deserved a goal. He's been playing well all season. Saw him in the middle. Serve it up. Boom. Keeper and in. Not the cleanest goal, but we'll take it for little Nico Stark. King of Milan. On the attack here. Jesse Lingard, what the hell? What are you doing at Atlanta? Shoot! Oh! Gabriel Barbosa on his big return to Inter Milan in off the wing. Hits it on his left. What a strike. I mean, yes, granted, it does help that I played a bit of FIFA this morning. You know, I didn't come into this one cold. I played a few seasons games online against real opponents. So that does help. And we are playing against Atalanta, which I don't think they're doing very well. But hey, this formation, man. Brandon DeLuna, my boy. Oh, Gabi goal! Oof. Oh, oh. Cancelo off the post. It's another dude who deserves a goal. Hey. 4 0. I think that's our biggest win of the season. I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to play another game with this formation, man. These dudes didn't have a chance in this one. Two shots, zero on target. And Danovich didn't have to do shit. I could have put Dolberg in goal. Brian Yim, that was a great call recalling Gabriel Barbosa, Bulgaria FA. You think I'm going to accept this? Nope. Dude, that win puts us in second. We have played an extra game. We have. But hey, that's where we should be, right up there. One point behind Napoli. We're right on their heels, they better not slip up. What we got, hey, hey, what we got, hey, hey. Wow, brutal guys. Dolberg, first time strike, you get a D? I don't know, do I keep this kid? What's going on with him? Match against Cagliari. What place are they in? Just out of curiosity, see how they're doing, what their form's like. They're in 19th, so you know I'm probably gonna lose this match. I'm gonna give them another chance, all right? He didn't get a single minute in in the last game. Dolberg against Cagliari with the rest of the same supporting cast that Icardi had. Let's see how you can do. Don't let me down. So what's their formation? Oh my god, almost, well, similar. Nah. And they have Alberto Moreno as their left back. I know where I'm going. Oh, come on Dolberg, you gotta get that through. Nah, 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 nah. See what I said about them being in 19th and they'll be way harder? Of course. It's always the case. I'm getting fifa would right now. Dolberg, you're passing, dog. Oh, you do see? Shoot! Oh! Cuts inside on Alberto Moreno. And they have Alberto Moreno as their left back. I know where I'm going. El Yunusi, signing of the season, my man. 1-0 at the half, it, was a little, it wasn't as dominant as against Atalanta, that's for sure. But as the match went on, we got more control. Not too into Dolberg to start this, for fuck's sake, dude doesn't move to the ball. At the beginning of this game, he's not really doing anything to change my mind about him. Oh, Dolberg, you're away. You're slow. Let's switch it up. Dolberg, you've not done enough to impress me. You're gone. Let's bring in Gabriel. Because, uh, I mean, I can always bring in Icardi and switch Gabriel to the wing after. Yeah, Stark. No one gets past Stark. What a ball. All you do is see cuts again. And the strike took too long. Wanted it on his right. Why? You have that wand of a left foot. But hi! Another block. Classic. But, get the win, right? Is that game over? I can't even tell. Or is it offside? Or is he getting substituted? It's really difficult when you can't... Okay, yeah, that's over. It's gotta be over. Hey! We win. 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil away. Hard fought. Dolberg still hasn't scored a goal. Still bad. El Yunusi, still the best player in the world at this moment. <laughs> and would you look at that? Again, played one more match than everyone else, but... 
first place, baby. That's where we deserve to be. Mind you, Lazio, Juventus, and Milan could all pass us. But still, we could be in fifth place if all those teams play and win. But still, we're much better. Dolberg, you need to work on your passing, man. Look how shit that is. Hey, 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 hey. Mixed bag. Chile FA. Oh. Nope. Contract negotiation with this boy? You have recently negotiated a new contract. I guess we gotta wait till January like everyone said in the comments. All right, whatever. Don't don't hate on a guy for trying. Next match against Kievo Verona. What place are they in? Ninth. Yeah, so they're gonna be another really tough one for some reason. All right, for this final match of this episode against Kievo, Icardi, Elianusi, Perisic, the dream team up front. Zhuang Mario's in there, Valero's on the other side in the Brozlovic position. So Zhuang Mario's gonna push forward and Valero's gonna stay in the middle. Stark, he's gonna stay in his spot because he's been so killer for me. So key with the interceptions. He stays back the whole time. He doesn't attack at all. Dalbert, hey, let's switch Cancelo for D'Ambrosio. Throw the guy a bone. Never forget to stay hydrated, folks. Okay? Promise me. This is a pretty beastly lineup, if you ask me. And let's keep a clean sheet for this entire episode. Of course I had to say that, and now let's knock on wood, I'm not going to get scored on, but you know, last time. Let's make our assistant coach Alejandro proud, and finish this episode without conceding a goal. Oh, Elianusi on the right is just so dangerous, I thought that was in again. What a ball! What a save by Handanovic. What a ball that was though. Oh shit. Icardi moved to the ball. What's up with you and Dolberg? You guys didn't learn that when you were five years old? That's the first thing they teach you is move to the ball. Shoot. Ooh. Oh, oh, you see. Strikes. Ooh, boy. And a hit. And a hit, and a miss, Hey, We're all about the misses today, my god. Oh man, frustrating half. Not as frustrating as some, because we're getting chances, but we just... Finishing is not good. Perisic hasn't been the bomb out there, so I'm gonna put Gabrielle in, and switch El Yanusi and Gabrielle. Come on, boys! Let's get this win in on him. Shoot! Hey, shoot! What is that? What just happened there? That's not physics. Shoot that. Oh! It would have been in in the last two games, but not this game apparently. No, 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 no way! No way! <laughs> My players just turn off. Tackles don't work. For fuck's sake. <sighs> like I said, we had to concede. Let's keep a clean sheet for this entire episode. With great vision here. To get the and yeah, of course he saves that from point and blank. Huge save. Here we go. Yes. Yes. 1-1, one, one, 83rd minute. Nice finish there, Gabby Goal. Can't remember who told me to double tap the shoot button when you're coming in off the flank. I think it was Austin. I'm pretty sure it was Austin. But hey, look. It worked. Shout out to you, boy. What's that? Is that game? <sighs> Stefano Sorrentino. He looks like he's about 49 years old. Five saves. Not bad. You know, we didn't get the win, but we did claw it back and get the draw, all right? At least we didn't lose. It's probably not enough to keep us on pace at the top of the table, but hey, we're moving in the right direction, boys. Like I said, we're not there yet, but we'll get there. We'll get to the top of the table eventually. Where are we at right now? Fifth place. We've played as many games as everyone else now, though, so that's a good thing. God damn, Juventus, way up there. Five points ahead of us, but we can catch up to them. It's gonna be a big game when we play them, which is when? <laughs> Our next match. Uh-oh. But that, 
my friends, will be in the next video. Thank you to Brandon DeLuna for sharing that wealth of knowledge with that new formation. And thank you to Brian Yim for telling me to bring back Gabby Gold because he scored some big goals. Two goals in this episode alone. Dolberg, he's at zero still, sitting on a big old goose egg. As always, if you guys have any suggestions, no matter what they may be, shoot with more finesse, chew fruity gum instead of mint gum, drink wine instead of water, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments section because your input is very important to this series. My name is Adrian, I almost said. My name is Mr. Managiorno, or Adrian from Rabona TV. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.